What's up, Brand Man Network? It's Sean, and I'm back with the second video of the music release strategy series. And once again, these first three are just some basic frequently asked questions that are important, though, because they can help you guide how you move you know, for a long time. Anybody who does not have an audience right now, a big fan base, do not, do not worry about your album pre-launch series. Don't worry about what you do leading up to your project. Everything needs to be focused on after the project. I already just got right into it, but obviously the question is, what should I do before I drop my project? There are some things you should do, but it shouldn't be too focused on marketing and teasing people and getting them excited about it because this is what happens, right? You're teasing and oh, that teaser sounds good. However, when it comes out, there's likely not going to be a great way that you can get right back out to those same people. My attention is valuable. So while you have my attention, make sure you convert it into something. And that's true for every single potential fan that you have. So if you push out an advertisement, I'm like, yo, that song sounds dope. That sounds cool. And I can't find a song. Once I decide to look for it, it's going to be like, oh, well, and I'm going to move on. And who knows if you'll be able to get my attention again. If you do, you'll probably have to pay for it. And we don't want to spend as you know that much money, do we? Nah, because we don't have it yet because we're working on becoming bigger. The alternate is you already have a project out. So when you do an ad or when you uh, just drop an interview or whatever you're doing post drop, then people can see it and then say, you know what? I'm interested. They check out the project or they check out the song or whatever you have going on. And from there, now you get that attention. They make a decision whether they want to be a fan, all of that good stuff. So make sure you're not spending too much energy on what you're doing beforehand. If you do not have a fan base, a decent sized fan base to start to not only tease, but to amp up to possibly give you a first big week on your playlist and things of that nature. If you don't have anybody to do that for you, people who are already checking for you, then it's irrelevant. Let's look at it this way. Like we're independent. We're not worried about the music charts necessarily. Billboard. Do we even have a chance on getting on Billboard or some of these other random charts? Are we really expecting to get those kind of results or get visibility from those folks? Probably not. So if you aren't, then that whole mentality of what happens the first week is really built for those charts. It has nothing to do with the actual success of the artist. There's been a lot of songs that had a horrible first week, but then ended up being the first one of the best um, charting songs of the year. Right. Long term, meaning people still love the song. It doesn't have a great first week because to bring it full circle, even if you have some sort of fan base, it doesn't necessarily matter. If you even get those people to give you a nice big bump in the first week, unless you're trying to drive up your playlist views, because obviously if you get a certain amount of playlist views in a short period of time, you get more opportunities to get on other playlists on things like Spotify and Apple Music. And then, of course, that has its own trickle effect. But if you don't think you'll be able to do that in the first place, then it's probably not worth investing a lot in promo beforehand. The things that you do put out, of course, could be you setting out the ground just for the aesthetic for the project or the story that you're forming all that good stuff so when people come back to see it later cool but as far as spending marketing dollars heavily on it beforehand it's not something you probably need to do at least not at the time when you don't have any fans especially and that's it for the second video of the music release strategy series other than that let's get it Ow.